So hello, you Ibad Express. Thank you very much for subscribe my channel. So today we will see about the how to implement this one. So how to implement this one in the sense how to um yeah this is like a code. So I I just put the code into the GitHub. This is a GitHub URL. Just go to the uh, Chrome and uh, paste that URL here. And just download our project so download the project uh, i'm just downloading so dynamic html uh, robot so within this i will download uh, let's download zip file into the desktop and make html Once you download, go to the that particular folder and unzip this file. Okay, so once you unzip here, you will find there is a readme inside this. So the readme, so readme is empty here. Let's go inside. There is a another readme I kept here. So basically, what you have to do, so the step is like a so first you have to create a folder. So before that, let let me open this main in UI path. Okay, while it is opening, so we'll see the readme part. Okay, the readme is like so. We have to create a folder into your desktop. Just create a folder into your desktop. Right click and create a go to your desktop and create a folder. That's it. This is a magic folder robot uh, entry. Okay, and now what is the next one? So run this UI path bot. Try to copy the sample Excel files into the okay. See the magic. Okay, now see. So let me let me ready create your Excel file. Uh, invoice so this is like a in the invoice so the name is like invoice number in, in or in number uh, amount total amount total to total amount invoice date right so these are all the things so these three are there suppose for example company name company name if you want to company name is a like a another drop down list just create a company name uh, sheet actually the sheet name is a company name so you can just prepare like a, a name anything but uh, see companies like a uh, IBM uh, in in for process Okay, DXC, HPE, okay, so USD, Google, Google, Facebook, right? This, these things are all company. Okay, so we have a ready Excel with the, actually the structure. So let's create a, if you have data also not a problem. Okay, so this is our workflow and uh, our sample Excel and just to run this bot. Okay, directly let's try to run this bot. Once you run the bot, just open this. Okay, so I think there is a problem with the. Okay, so the or the mine is like so. This is a full bigger path here. I'm just keeping this file folder, the, our project folder, into my D drives because uh, because of this the path is very huge. I'm just keeping that uh, into the other folder. Okay, here. Mm, and these open yeah so we open the readme we try again okay let's open again uh this project yeah okay so what are the steps we done first of all we downloaded the, our project our codes okay uh, from the github and uh, unzip that one this next one is like yeah, so just created a, a robo entry folder empty folder in the desktop and the second the next one is like so you created a, your sample excel okay so if you already have the excel data so you can just uh, simply directly use that excel itself just run now the bot running the bot is running see here in the in the bottom you can see the bot is running open the this um, robo entry folder in the robo entry folder i'm just dragging the invoice.xlsx once you drag the invoice.xlsx <laughs> the magic is happened here okay immediately it is created the dynamic html page okay 
C dynamic HTML page. So let us see. So open Excel. If you want to open Excel, you can open Excel. Not that's not mandatory. I'm just showing showing that. So invoice number is like this one. The amount is like a six thousand rupees, and the invoice it is like a zero two slash zero five slash two zero two one. And this is like a, see, it came as a drop down list. Okay, I'm just selecting the blue Google and click on the submit. So once you click on the submit, automatically it is created a new record here. Okay, so with the data which you give. Okay, so let's create another invoice number. Uh, this is invoice number 5800 is the amount and invoice date is like a 05 slash 04 slash 2021. And uh, this is like a so Facebook and click on the submit. It automatically added the new record into the Excel. This is a data entry. And here is a challenge for the let's see the, the challenge for. Let us see uh, how, how fast it is creating. Okay, see here. So this is a challenge for all the RPA developers, all the web developers. Okay, sorry. This is a challenge for all any web developers, whether the uh, web developer from the PHP or Python or .NET or Java, any web developer. See, see the Excel here. See the Excel here. So we have a data. And we just drag and drop the item into the folder. Immediately, it will create a one dynamic, dynamic web. Page. See, this is a dynamic web. Page. If you see this dynamic web page, so if you see inside the code, so how HTML uh, without any dynamic language, without any dynamic language in the sense, so without any scripting language, there is no programming language here. Okay, see here. Up to here is a just a style, just a style. Yes, whatever the that looks like after that see nothing is there no javascript no jquery no angular js okay nothing no scripting language simply in an, an html static html page but see this is a simple static html page even though it is a simple static html page so there is no uh, if you see the submit button it is a simple submit button only so once you submit there is no form at all see the button type class button is there. This is for uh, the I mean CSS and the button. That's it. no, nothing is there here to interact with this Excel. But even though this is interacting with Excel, just try for that using the, your technology. Okay, so now let's try uh, 778899 and uh, 4, it's rupees. And invoice it is like a so zero four slash zero eight slash two zero twenty one and this is a drop down list. Uh, this drop down list is came from this uh, sheet. This drop down list came from this sheet. So if you increase the numbers, it automatically creates the another item in the drop down list. So let us select this drop down list uh, item is Infosys and click on the submit button. Automatically added the new record See here. Automatic. This is a challenge to the all the web developers how you can build this kind of uh, uh, code yeah yeah so this is a uh, how you can execute so you can just uh, see the code if you want to code just go to the description of this uh, and uh, download this code and uh, run it thank you very much